you don't expect them to wake up. Just 24 hours removed from 15 year old Janessa Thompson being pinned to the ground by a goalpost, she's up and walking. It's truly a miracle. Seeing her yesterday, that's not something that we expected at all. And even trying to brush her teeth after learning from doctors that her jaw is broken and may require surgery. Totally like you, a Janessa thing to do. It is. <laughs> Janessa also has fractures to the back of her skull and she's unable to see out of her right eye. Doctors not sure if it's temporary or permanent. I saw it hit her and pin her to the ground and it was the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. The girls climbing up the goalpost for a picture. Just seemed fun, you know, like it's what kids do. Never did I think that something as horrific as what happened would happen. Janessa stayed on the ground next to first year cheer coach Taylor Reynolds when the heavy steel posts gave way. In slow motion, I saw it coming down and then I instantly saw her pin. This is where it happened. This is the goalpost that fell on her. Everyone there jumped into action, working together to lift the goalpost off the 15 year old's head. Reynolds cradling Janessa in her arms. I said I need you to stay still, I need you to relax, and I just need you to cough up the blood. A horrific scene, but fast forward just 24 hours later, and family and friends say they're happy and amazed at her recovery, saying they're shocked the news wasn't worse. She wanted to go to school the day today, and so she's, <laughs> she's a fighter. The testimony that she's going to have walking out of this is, it's going to shake and rattle some people. Well, Reynolds' foot was also injured in the incident. We've also learned that the goalpost was fixed and put back into place. At OU Met, Austin Burstett, Oklahoma's News 4.